Um, my name's Tamsin Curley and I'm 16. My name's Cassie Clark and I'm 15. My name's Josh Smith and I'm 17. I started learning to swim here when I was two years old and I started Friday night racing when I was four. Well, when I first joined I was either eight or nine. I remember I have an age champion from 2010 and it was either under eight or under nine, I can't remember, it's, it's one of the two. Yeah, it's, it's a big brag. When I first joined the actual club, oh, then maybe eight? Yeah. Uh, when I first joined, this club was it was pretty big. The, like the Friday night races were were a thing. I didn't compete at all except for the Friday night races. I remember um, the starters frantically racing around with the starting sheets and writing everyone's names down. When you drop the two dollars into the bucket and write your name down for all the different events that you wanted to do. Uh, there was a lot of little little kids and everyone was sort of just doing it for fun. I remember doing. Um, only 15 meters or something um, and I had a person waiting at the other end for me because I didn't I was so scared to get up and um, do it. Mum was like just do 15 meters. <laughs> Every week Friday night races um, but there was no home bush no no real competition. Anymore. It was fun but it was um just showing up and not really training. The numbers dwindled the Friday night, night races dwindled yeah, and there wasn't, there wasn't much left at one point. Numbers like slowly got smaller and smaller. There was a point when the club was very small, um, and that was the point where the council tended out the squad program, and then when Big Blue, Big Blue took over, that's when the club also just like, it started to flourish. When I got here, uh, the club was down to under 20 members, I think. I definitely knew there was an appetite in the area to get the club up and running again and functioning at all levels. It's been great, it's been really good. I think just seeing so many new young families and young swimmers and inexperienced swimmers uh, getting excited about competing, going to their first carnivals, their first club nights, all of those things that um, definitely get the ball rolling for a long term journey in the sport, that's been awesome to be a part of that. now are a lot different. Carnivals now are a lot better. I think that um, now when the coach comes to um, the carnival so he's able to give us feedback after our races and um, mentor us like before and after and sometimes during the races and we're all able to watch each other swim, learn from each other and push each other. Definitely what's better about club now is the team and like the team environment. It's definitely very supportive very motivating. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'd be swimming uh, as much as I would be now if there wasn't that team environment. Um, when I was in the marshalling area when I first started, there I just sat in silence. I knew absolutely no one. I was so shy. Um, I have lots of memories of me being the only wax swimmer. Um, and there was like Cass and everyone. Me, Cass, Donnie, I think you, Michaela were out there a few times. Cam too. Um, I think there was it was really small, but like there was not really any meets where there was everyone um, there as a team. It was pretty lonely. Um, made some, made some good friends, like five minute friends on the pool deck. Um, still friends with some of them today, but yeah, it's not nothing like what it is now. Um, I think the emotions like going into state, they're all like right now because there's so many more people that are going to state and going to metros than they used to be. It's a lot more. Um, exciting because we're all going as a team rather than just like individual people. It's a team sport now rather than yeah, an individual sport. I feel a lot more prepared when I go to state and metros now. <laughs> going into a meet now, you feel a lot prepared, a lot more prepared, not just because you're in the pool but because you've got the team there and you know that they're going to support you um, even if you do bad. Yeah. Because we can all push each other, we all um, support each other and we support everyone's goals and yeah, achievements. <laughs> and I think just the good thing about uh, the team is just really easy to forget about um, everything else and just enjoy the, the time in the pool. Yeah. We all are friends and we can do things out of school and not have the stress about school. It's a good way, way to um, 
get out of the stress of different other the other different environments? Yeah, definitely a big thing. Uh, the club's definitely benefited from is the coaches. Kristen's a hard taskmaster. Yeah, so she's tough. Sandy's a legend. San Sandy is my heart and soul. Um, nah, I love Sandy. Sandy's Sandy's like the the law keeper of whack. She's always just been she's always been there, and especially Tim's like passion. He came. I remember when he first came. He said, um, "This is the club now, and this is where I want the club in one year and two years." And um, they were pretty big goals, but I, I think he's doing a good job, yeah. Oh. Oh, I love this shirt. <laughs> I get this one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the Metro's one. I love this shirt. <laughs> oh, wow. Awesome. Yeah, no, of course I have a race against all the guys. I'm really excited for the new uniforms. I am very excited for the new uniforms. I don't think we've ever had like proper um, uniforms that everyone is wearing the exact same things we all feel as a team. You know, one of the great things about our club logo, the Piranha, uh, it goes way back. Obviously, it's been a part of a strong part of the club's history. We just, you know, it's, it's, it's on the uniform, it's on the cap, and for those of you guys that um, might have ever been to South America, you definitely don't want to run into a piranha. And when our guys get in the water and start racing, we want them to be feared by their opposition. Not feared because we might be the biggest and the most talented, but feared because we're tough, we're tenacious, we're vicious, and we pack a really big bite for our size. And in my three years here, we've seen some great performances that really typify that piranha spirit and mentality, uh, the toughness of the way that our kids race from start to finish. They lay it on the line, uh, they race for each other when it's in a relay situation. And what's been really pleasing is they're starting to get known for that in, in wider circles at a state level, at a national level. And it's something we're going to continue to build upon here is, is racing with that piranha spirit and, and hoping to bring the best out of the kids when they compete.